I'd like to tell you a bit about our roofing systems and what makes them different to everybody else's. Sometimes products can be made to look the same, but when it comes down to their performance, they don't last. So first of all, I'll tell you about the company, AHI Roofing. They're the original manufacturer of the stone-coated metal tile, invented by a guy called Lou Fisher in New Zealand back in 1957. Now Fisher was visiting the UK from New Zealand uh, and he visited some of the Air Force bases uh, after the Second World War and he saw that the aircraft hangars had been painted with a black bitumen paint. The purpose of that was to prevent the German bombers shining lights over so they could see where the light reflected and, and where to drop their bombs. Now Fisher found that after some time the bitumen paint also acted as a, as a resistance to rust so the aircraft hangars showed little signs of rust where compared with other metal roofing. Now at the time New Zealand imported all of its roofing products um, so uh, being that they were importing the weight was important so most of the homes were built with a, a long run steel. Now the largely European population still liked the look of the European building so Fisher decided to make a tile out of steel uh, but with a European profile, the tile profile uh, and then he coated it using the bitumen using the bitumen paint, and then he used a stone chip on the finish of it to give it the, the tile look, the brick look. Now people in New Zealand, they liked this look and they were soon asking for different colours. And New Zealand, being a volcanic country, had plenty of seams of different coloured rock. And as you can see behind me, there's a, a, a wide range of colour products were developed. Now, over time, new technologies were employed, acrylics were used to replace the bitumen, uh, and alu zinc was used to replace galvanised steel. Together with advances in the manufacturing process, AHI uh, and the tiles have a six to nine times longer lifespan uh, than other metal roofing products. Today, AHI roofing products carry a 50-year warranty for all their products anywhere in the world. They started to export from New Zealand in the 1970s, and by today, they've supplied over 120 countries around the world. Today, we have four manufacturing plants in four continents of the world, and it's the world's biggest metal roofing company, at least four to five times bigger than any of its competition. In 2004, AHI became part of Fletcher Building, their New Zealand's biggest company, with an annual turnover of over eight billion US dollars. Now sometimes it's good to know who's behind the products that you're buying from, you know it's companies you can trust. It's been said any fool can stick some chip on a tile to make it look like our roofing. The difference with AHI is that our tiles don't change. They look the same, they look as good for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years as they are when they're new. And we've got the track record to prove it. Okay, so our products are usually the most expensive. Um, so why is it when you put somebody else's tile next to ours, when they're new they look the same? Well, sometimes at a glance it's, it's difficult to tell the difference. Uh, often people can be persuaded of this. Uh, and they don't discover the difference until the tiles have been on the roof for one or two years and, and then their roof looks terrible. Uh, the difference is in the materials we use and, and the manufacturing process. Uh, it's what goes into making our tiles that counts. So let me tell you a bit about some of the tricks maybe that other tile manufacturers will use to make their tiles look the same as ours. Okay, first thing to understand is the quality of the steel. Because we're such a big user, we've got a great relationship with the steel companies uh, and we ensure consistency of supply. Uh, and that means steel which is compatible with the other coatings, creating a, a great bond and a bond for life. The steel mills um, coat the steel on both sides with an alu zinc. We use 150 grams of alu zinc per square metre on both sides of the steel. Now it's important because this is a protective coating which protects the steel from corrosion or from rust and that's what allows us to give the 50 year warranty. Now some other manufacturers also claim to use alu zinc steel but if you reduce the weight of the coating, you can save money, but you also reduce the life of the product. For example, if you use alu zinc uh, 100 grams per meter, you'll actually reduce the life of the product by half. So this is hugely important when preventing your metal roof from rusting. So just because someone claims to use alu zinc steel, it doesn't mean that the quality of the steel and the coatings are the same. Now, the next thing to think about is the stone chip that we use. All of our stone chips come from quarries in New Zealand. It's hard volcanic rock, mined from different colours, different seams of rock stratum. The rock is selected to ensure it doesn't contain any organic matter or iron content. Now these can cause rust and staining on the surface of the roof after installation. 
Now using natural stone also means that the roof doesn't change colour. This is one of the biggest problems for people find when they buy a cheap product. When you're spending a lot of money on a product, it's going to be a key design feature of your home or your building. You don't want to find that, that after one or two years the house already looks like an old building because the, the colour of, of the roof has changed or faded. We often have clients who come to us and replace a roof which they've only installed a couple of years ago. They bought from another roof originally but because it was cheaper it looked the same as our tiles when it was new uh, but after a while the colour changed uh, and, and they ended up having to replace their whole roof. Okay. Now we also use a larger aggregate of stone chips or our stone chips are bigger. And what's the benefit of that? Well, when the stone chips are applied during the manufacturing process, they're fired into the base coat, uh, which forms a bond between the steel and the stone chips. We apply a thicker base coat than other manufacturers, so the larger stone chips can sink into the base coat. And when the base coat dries and hardens, the stones are securely embedded. Now, you can compare this with a stone being dropped into, say, a, a bucket of cement. If you use a large stone, the cement will uh, solidify around it uh, and then when the cement is dry the stone chip doesn't come out. If you just use a small stone and a little bit of cement then it will stick to the surface but after time it can easily be removed. Okay, Now imagine these tiles are first of all transported, then they're installed with people walking on them, then they're exposed to ultraviolet sunlight over time. It's no wonder that chip loss becomes a problem with other people's products. So again, we see how manufacturers can make their tiles cheaper, make them look the same when they're new, but their performance is completely different. Now, there's something else to mention about the bond between the base coat and the stone chip. In the manufacturing process, the application of the stone chip is called a chip drop. When the stones are fired into the base coat, uh, we can use a microscope to look at the coatings and see if there's any gaps where the base coat is exposed, uh, where there's any gaps between the stone chips. Um, now, we actually use a second chip drop, so we blow any loose chips off the first, from the first installation and then the second chip drop goes down to make sure that there's no gaps between any of the stone chips. Um, when the base coat dries and hardens, it holds the stone chips to the steel. The stones themselves are protecting the base coat from the ultraviolet sunlight and that's something that we call a symbiotic relationship between the stone chips and the base coat. It means that they provide each other with a mutually beneficial service. The base coat serves to bond the stone chip to the tile, but at the same time the chip is protecting the base coat from the ultraviolet. Okay? The sun's ultraviolet is what can destroy the base coat. Okay. Now, in every batch of roofing we produce, uh, the, the product goes through something called a mandrel test. That's where the tiles are bent over a steel bar to check and ensure that the coating doesn't crack and the coating doesn't come off. So AHI base coat is especially formulated to provide both strength and flexibility. Now that's necessary especially during installation when the tiles have been walked on and they're being bent for the installation at the hips and the ridges and the valleys. And if the coating breaks then that creates a weak point uh, and that's a, that's a cause for potential future problems. Okay, the mandrel test is a way of testing the tile against these future problems with chip loss. Okay? Uh, some of the complaints we hear from other tile manufacturers, uh, from the installers, is that the chip comes off during installation, which means either there's not enough base coat, or the base coat is too hard and too brittle, or the stone chip slips and bunches uh, because it's, the base coat is too soft, particularly when it's now exposed to, to, to heat in sunlight, and that leaves the base steel exposed. Okay. AHI also then apply an overglaze on the top of the stone chip. This hardens very quickly, uh, and it prevents chip loss from friction during transport and installation. Again, it adds cost, but there's an additional advantage and there's a benefit to the final customer. So, we've seen lots of ways already where, the, where our products are, are, are really different to other people's. There's the steel, the alu zinc, the stone chip, its type and its size, and the special base coat used, its properties uh, and the thickness with which it's applied. The final thing to discuss when looking at the difference between AHI tiles and other manufacturers is the manufacturing process itself. Now, remembering AHI first made these tiles over 60 years ago, in that time there's been a lot of learning. We know better than anybody else how to make top quality tiles which last a lifetime in all climates and in all environmental conditions. 
We can prove this because there's plenty of buildings with our roofs on them which have been uh, installed for more than 50 years, more than 60 years in some cases. Uh, and we're the only company who has that track record. We don't film or photograph our factory due to trade secrets, uh, but I can tell you that each one of our factories has an oven. These ovens are unique. Uh, they cost over a million dollars each, uh, and they're over 100 metres long. The tiles pass, first of all, through the coating line, and then are mechanically lifted into the oven, so they're never touched by human hands. The oven, as I said, is 100 metres long, and each tile passes through a range of different temperatures in the oven. Over the course of an hour, the temperature uh, rises up to 100 degrees and then goes through a cooling process, and that process uh, is called a curing. Okay, now, once the tiles come out of this curing or baking process, uh, there's a strong bond between all the layers, uh, between the layers of the steel, the base coat, and all the coatings, and the stone chip, and the overglaze. So these are the facts. Yes, our tiles are usually more expensive, and yes, they look the same as other people's products when they're new, but they're not. If they were, uh, then they would cost the same as AHI tiles, probably more. Uh, so if it's quality you want from a company you can trust, then really there's only one choice.